Today, I'm going to show you how to build on your melodies so that they sound professional every single time. And today's lesson is about workflow. Now, I completely understand that there are no rules when making music. However, if you want to finish professional sounding songs consistently, effectively, and quickly, you're going to have to follow a disciplined workflow to get those songs done. Building a song is just like building anything else. For example, if you're baking a cake, you get all of your raw ingredients, throw them into a mixing bowl, mix them up, throw them in the oven, and then you ice the cake when it's done baking in the oven. Making a song is no different than this. If you do things like add EQs and compressors to your instruments before you even have an entire arrangement, that's a lot like icing a cake before you even put it in the oven. In other words, it makes no fucking sense. So today I'm gonna show you how to take this guitar melody and build on top of it to eventually sound like this. So if you noticed, that guitar melody is always the center of attention. No matter how big the instruments around it are, that guitar melody stays amazing, fun, and uplifting. So I started out with this guitar melody. All you have to do when you start with a melody is harmonize a bass line, because then you build the chords on the bass line. All right, so we have a bass preset, sounds like this. And now I'm gonna harmonize with this melody. Something you have to remember when building a bass line is that all of the emotion in the song is driven by that bass line. So you really can't mess this up. That's why we're keeping it simple. We're going to ignore the chords until this bass line is right. So now that we have a good bass line, we can start working on the extra harmonics that are going to be in the chord layers. So let's get working on the chords. So when I'm building these chords, I'm constantly making sure that I'm not taking away from the energy of the melody. If these chords have too many notes, it's gonna take away from the energy of the melody. If these chords are too overpowered, it's gonna take away from the melody. So I'm gonna keep these really tame and they're not gonna move around too much. So one of the easiest layers of notes is gonna be the root key, which is C, like this. So since this is the root key, I don't have to change that at all. It sounds good like that. So now I'm going to harmonize with the bass line and it's going to sound really good because it's going to be really chill. And then the next notes that I add to these chords is just going to be the bass notes. So we notice now the chords sound a little bit empty. So what I'm going to try to do is squeeze another layer of notes in there. And these notes are going to be the easiest notes to add because all I'm going to do is count seven semitones up from the bass line. This is a concept that we learn in the EDM boot camp. If you have a good melodic bass line that sounds good, all you do to get chords is just play the math game. So we already added this line. That's the root key. That's easy. The next line of notes is going to be seven semitones above the bass line. Once you get your beautiful melody and your beautiful harmonies, you start getting really loud instruments for each sound and you'll end up with a really awesome song and composition. So in our little drop here, we laid down some nice drums. Then we brought in our guitar lead. And of course, the sub bass and the high bass. And we filled in the gaps with these nice big chords here. And we covered everything up with a little harmonic drone 
just to fill up the atmospheres and the background. So if you want to learn how to design these sounds, I have three new sound design videos getting added to the EDM Bootcamp. Come join me in the EDM Bootcamp by clicking the link at the top of my description. I really can't wait to see you there. I'll see you next video.